In this video, we are going to study how to prepare creams. Here, if we follow the schema that we are uh, using for all over these videos, if we go down to the excipient type, we can um, go to the middle and prepare by addition of aqueous phases to absorption or emulsion bases, we are going to prepare hydrophobic or hydrophilic creams. These are two phase systems that can be uh, prepared by um, addition of water to uh, each of the phases. We are going to study first the water in oil emulsions. They are normally more occlusive than the uh, oil in water emulsions because they are more hydrophobic and they are generally prepar prepared in hot. This means we are going to heat up both phases. Phase, um, aqueous phase is weighted all the materials together and the oily fails all together in separate beakers. They are going to be both heated to the same temperature. Normally it will be the fusion temperature of uh, the material in the oily phase which it has the highest uh, fusion temperature which is normally between 60 to 70 degrees Celsius and we can um, or through these emulsions we can obtain in the end the so-called cold creams or refreshing creams or we can use them as drag vehicles because due to their occlusive uh, characteristics and also the good miscibility with the skin lipids, they are very good formulations to, prom to promote or enhance uh, the absorption of the APIs. We also have the oil and water emulsions. They are prepared normally in the same way and they are also uh, better to be removed from the skin and the clothes of the patient and they are less occlusive than absorption bases, so they promote a bit, uh, at a bit lower extent the enhancement of the permeability of the API, but on the other side they are very pleasant, so patients normally prefer this kind of formula uh, compared to the other ones. In this slide we can see an example of the Spanish national formulary of an emulsion which is of oil and water type. It's called a uh, analgesic cream of methyl salicylate, menthol and alcanfor. The formula for 100 gram is uh, pre uh, presented here. We have the methyl salicylate, the racemic menthol and racemic alcanfor, which are the APIs in very low amounts. And then we have the excipients. One is ethanol, 96% in very low amounts, which is used as co-solvent for the APIs. And also we have the oil and water emulsion of non-ionic type 2, which is the excipient. To prepare this emulsion, we have to go back in the national formulary to the excipient section and find the excipient itself and how to prepare it. Here we have the emulsion, it's the uh, oil and water non-ionic type 2, and we have the two phases uh, formula for 100 gram. There is the oily phase, uh, which is made by uh, cetosterylic alcohol and liquid parafilm. The first is the um, water in oil surfactant, and the second is a fat excipient of low viscosity. Then we have the aqueous phase, which is made of polysorbate 80, propylene glycol, and uh, preserved water. Uh, the first is the oil and water surfactant, propylene glycol is the plasticizer and water is the um, aqueous vehicle. In this slide we are going to see how to prepare an emulsion or the emulsion that we have been talking about. We have all the materials in the uh, video, sterile alcohol and all others. We have weighed them into uh, two separated beakers. One contains the water phase, the second contains the oily phase. And they are placed in the water bath at the same temperature so that the oily excipients are melt and the water excipients are heated up to the same temperature. Otherwise, they can make the oily phase precipitate in flux and the addition of the water phase could in this case not be homogeneous and we would not prepare appropriately the cream. 
Then another uh, tip that we follow in the bench is to always add the water phase onto the oily phase. In the industry, this can be done uh, independently uh, or the other way around according to uh, the nature of the final formulation. But here, we prefer to always use uh, this system to avoid solidification of the oily phase during the manipulation and a difference of temperature within the beaker. Once the water phase is added to the oily phase, we should stir continuously until uh, the final formulation is formed at room temperature. As you can see, as the formulation um, cools down, the viscosity is increased.